Okay, in this section, we will be learning about how to navigate Blender. The first thing that we need to understand is axis. So, there are two types of axis. 2D axis, X and Y, and 3D axis, X, Y, and Z. Basically, 2D axis, or sometimes I said it's 2D canvas, is only represents an area, and 3D canvas can represent a volume. But actually, the downside of using 2D canvas is when we want to see back view or side view of an object, we need to redraw the objects. While in 3D canvas, we just need to make one object completely. After that, we can easily see from whatever view we want. In 3D Canvas, there are three axes that marked by colors. X always red, Y always green, and Z always blue. No matter what software do you use. And to navigate viewport in Blender, there are three commands that we need to know. Orbit, Pan, and Zoom. Orbit is a way to rotate our view. We can hold and drag our middle mouse to orbit like this. And pan is a way to move our view by using combination of shift and drag our middle mouse, just like this. And zoom is simply by scrolling our middle mouse. If we hold control and drag middle mouse, we can zoom smoothly. Now it's about viewport view. When working with 3D view, sometimes we want to see from front view side view, or top view. We just need to remember number 1, 3, and 7. So if we want to see from front view, simply hit 1 on our numpad. Right view, hit 3. Top view is 7. We can also press Ctrl and those number to see from the opposite view. Let's say we want back side view. Simply hit Ctrl 1. Left view, Control 3 and bottom view is Control 7. And then there are two numbers left. It is 5 and 0. 5 is used for changing between perspective view and orthographic view. 0 is to view from camera. And how if we have two cameras in the scene? We can see a black mark in our camera to identify the active camera in the scene. So if we have two cameras, we can activate one of those by selecting the camera, right click on the camera and press Ctrl 0. Then the camera becomes active and there's a black mark on it. Emulate numpad is useful for changing all keyboard's numbers to mimic function on numpad numbers. So we can change the view by pressing keyboard numbers also. Toggle quad view. We can change our 3D view to 4 different views like in many other softwares by choosing toggle quad view in the properties panel here. Or we can just pressing Ctrl Alt Q, okay? This is useful for us to see object in different view while we are working in another view. Okay, that's it for section 2. And yeah, see you in the next video.